Well, the speculation is already rampant. Will it be a boy or a girl? What's the due date? What will the name be? Odds makers are having a field day about the royal baby, and this is just the start of months of speculation. Here's Christina Stevens. After months of she is, she isn't, Kate's pregnancy is officially official. Fantastic. No, it's good news. Congratulations. It's very exciting. Three weeks old. Thank you, Kate. Let the baby buzz begin. At Moms to Be and More, they'll be watching closely what Kate buys, knowing other moms are sure to follow suit, especially when it comes to royal wheels. That's usually what um, celebrities are caught pushing and what they're photographed with the most. So the stroller is definitely the number one item that people watch celebrities for and then come in here and see if we have the same model. I'm excited to see which one she picks. Whatever the Duchess chooses is guaranteed to be a hit. Remember the copycat rings after their engagement? And what about the Canadian designer Smythe jacket, which flew off the shelves after being seen on Kate? She'll make a huge impact on what people are buying for their babies, as, as you can see what she's done with fashion, and she's already tw trending hugely on Twitter. The Twitterverse is filled with congratulations from the Prime Minister to strangers. This one saying she wanted to call someone as if Kate was her friend. Another suggesting it was time to crack open the bubbly. With that kind of familiarity, it's not surprising people are already tossing around potential names. Expected to set another trend. We just released the top 2012 baby names in Canada, and William was number one for boys. And I'm sure that next year, whatever Kate Middleton picks, whether it be for a boy or a girl, will be at the top of all the lists. Bookies are weighing in, one putting the best odds on John or Charles for a boy, Francis or Elizabeth for a girl. So what should it be? Uh, a classic name would be good for them. They'll probably go with something in the family. Not Charles. Christina. Why? Because I think it's just a nice name. Now there's an idea I can get behind. Christina Stevens, Global News, Toronto. <laughs>